Hello, good morning friends and students. Today we are going to discuss and learn the important topic of management information system is types of information systems. So proceeding further, this particular slide showing the organization levels. Generally we learn there are three organization levels. One, the operational level, then middle, middle, middle level is the managerial level and the topmost is the strategic level. But you will see carefully in this slide, you will find there are four levels shown. One important level is added in this organizational organization that is knowledge level systems. That is knowledge level organization. So how the information systems exist in various levels of the organizations and how the different functions are utilized in these types of information systems with respect to the levels is a today's learning agenda. So going in detail operational level system we have transaction processing system in short it is TPS. What is this transaction processing systems for any functionalities either we go for the accounts purchase sales or manufacturing everywhere you will find this transaction processing system exists at the operational level transaction processing system is a system which collects and stores data about transactions or sometimes control decisions made as part of the transaction it is a business system performs daily routine transactions necessary for business functions. It is an operational level system. At the operational level, tasks, resources and goals are predefined and it is highly structured. The various examples under the tra this transaction processing system, one for the sales or marketing system if you consider the sales management, market research, promotion, pricing, new products are the major functions of this TPS for sales or marketing systems. Whereas if we compared for the human resource systems, personal records, benefits, compensations, labor relations, training are the major functions of the system. Then management information system is very most important system which exists in the managerial level of the organization. What it's supposed to do MIS provides managers with reports and in some cases online access to the organization's current performance and historical records. Typically these systems focus entirely on internal events providing the information for short term planning and decision making. It is managerial level system, MIS summarizes and reports on the basic operations of the organization dependent on the underlying TPS for their data. If you see carefully the functional block diagram of this management information system collects the information from transaction processing system then it organization organizes all information with respect to the different functions like sales data will be stored in systematic sales file, unit product cost will be stored in the product file like product chain data, any exp expense data or the examples are shown for MS files. Then the MS reports are generated and these are available for the managers to take an appropriate decision. Schematics of MS like management information system integrates the different functions of the organization marketing management information system function financial management information system manufacturing management information system as well as order management information system are integrated and definitely from all these four or type shown the transaction processing system is required in a bidirectional information exchange purpose Now the third most important system information system that we are going to learn is known as decision support system. As MIS 
this system is also existing in the managerial level. This service serves to need of the management level of the organization. Focus on helping managers make decisions that are semi-structured, unique or rapidly changing and not easily specified in advance. So basically it is used for semi-structured problem solving. It is having some analytical capability also. Use internal, internal information from TPS and MIS but also information from external sources. For example, if you take the example of marketing, then external market trends are also required inputs for analyzing the sales forecasting or the sales capacity management. Greater analytical power than other systems incorporate modeling tools, aggregation and analysis tools and supports what if scenario. Means it consists of the quantitative techniques model, statistical forecasting models, etc. etc. The fourth and most important uh, information system is an executive support or information system. It exists in the strategic level of the organization. Executive support system is an information system that supports work of professional in bounded but complex situations in which recognized experts do better than non-experts. It serves the strategic level of the organization. ESS or EIS address unstructured decisions and create a generalized computing and communication environment rather than providing any fixed applications or specific capabilities. Such systems are not designed to solve specific problems but to tackle a changing array of problems. So it is very crucial information system used and advantages to the strategic level people to help in solving the unstructured, unroutine problems. It also designed to incorporate data about external events such as new tax laws or competitors and also draw summarized information from internal MIS and DSS. These systems filter, compress and track critical data emphasizing the reduction of time and efforts required to obtain information useful to executive management. The last aspect is how these different information systems exist in the different levels of the organization but still how they interact with each other, coordinate with each other and how they integrate with each other to give the organization as a whole. So what we learn? We learn the types of information system with respect to their levels of the organizations with respect to their requirements and how they integrate with each other, coordinate with each other. That is the purpose of today's session. Thank you.